Well, the first one was uh, Brother William Vessels, who asked me uh, when I was a junior if I might consider being a Mary's brother, and, and then he kind of stayed in contact with me all that time. Uh, some of the first brothers that I met was Brother Stephen Morton uh, from the Mexican province, and he was a, a, just an awesome teacher in, in science and mathematics, and he inspired me, and I, I always thought, I want to be like him. And there was a brother, James Carroll, who was a religion teacher. And he also, again, uh, my first year here at, at St. Joe, uh, he, he inspired me with his devotion to Mary. And he had a class every, every Thursday dedicated to some mystery of, of Mary. Well, the one that comes right to mind is Brother Fergus McCann, Australian. I remember when I first met him, I was in Chicago. And I was about six months away from uh, participating in the second division. And this white-haired old man came to visit us. And uh, he just had this way about him. And uh, I remember when I first met him, he had tremendous uh, a focus. When I was talking with him, he used to kept looking and saying, yes, brother, yes, brother, yes, brother. After the meeting, I said, my God, I'm going to be six months with this guy. Holy crap. You know? But it turned out that when I was at the second initiate with Brother Fergus McCann and Luke Driscoll, and uh, that was what John Powell would call a peak experience. And I would say I know myself best of all. And I would say that Fergie, he would, he would be the second human being who could, well, as he was, who's ever lived, who knew me, who knew me. And uh, he loved me unconditionally, and he was a great, great support. And he's not the only one, but at the time, uh, we've, we traveled together after the second of shit. We corresponded by letter. I went up to Cold Spring when he was there. I went to Australia for, let's say, for three months in 1981, I believe it was. And, uh, but that's the first person that comes to mind. My best friend now is a friend of 40 years. I've lived with him, I've lived with him for the last 40 years. And we're so completely different in temperament. Uh, almost at the opposite extremes. Like I'm a choleric, he's a sanguine. People look at us, and they, they know him, this is Ben Lobalba, and they know me, and they say, how can those two guys get along? How can they travel together twice a year? They're always together. Uh, so we have people like that. And in all the communities that I've been at, I have always enjoyed each and every single one of them. And uh, I cannot remember any Maris brother that I didn't like. Of course, I gravitated towards some more than others, but uh, it was the community. Each community that I've been at has always been great. Brother Francis Regis. I had known him firstly, and he was my chef in the junior rate. My first assignment, Resurrection Ascension School, Rigo Park. He's the subdirector of the community. He's the eighth grade teacher one of them. But we formed a bond that continued right through to the day God called him. Whenever we met, we picked up where we left off and carried on. The first one I think of, of course, is Berkey, John Berkman's. Most of the brothers know him well. Having lived with him for a short time here in Esopus, he was the one who could say to me, it'll work out, you'll get it, particularly if I was struggling. He was a treasure to me because at one point he said to me, you are my friend. And that meant a great deal. 
I didn't know that I was his friend and I didn't know that I was important to him. I knew he was important to me. So that's John. Uh, Bill Vessels in Texas was very significant because at a time in my life when there were great doubts and questions, he said, don't do anything crazy. Let me get you a job in campus ministry. <laughs> You'll love it. Okay. And that was the beginning of a whole new life, um, a, a life of celebrating Christmas every day. Leonard. Certainly Leonard stopping into my office when he lived up here in Esopus and worked in the archives to gossip and gab was very important to me. And as a good friend, he was very important. Living Brothers, Don Bison, has challenged me and encouraged me to move forward with spiritual direction, which is what I do now and I love. I would never have attempted it without him saying, oh, you can do that. Um, John Malich, I live with him now, is a treasure and a friend. He seems to be always there when I need a word, a laugh, a smile.